Hello, everybody, and welcome to Replica. This is a demo you can download for free, and it will give you the experience of talking to AI NPC. Pretty amazing, the technology behind it. I will let you know, though, it is a 28 gigabyte download, and once you have it downloaded, go ahead and extract that into a folder and run the setup. The setup will take a very long time, depending on where you're going to install it. Uh, and then you're off to the races just like that. So let's talk about how amazing this technology is and what we can expect out of games in the future. I mean, especially sandbox games, Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead Redemption, etc. Imagine being able to talk to people. Um, so at first we're gonna be silly and just kind of do like a, you know, hey, walking's over here because we're going down the sidewalk here. Um, but you can have some really cool conversations with the AI. We just hit the, the matrix wall there, so don't mind that. All right, here's the first one right here. Let's go ahead and walk up to him. Hey, I'm walking over here. What? You think I can? Yeah, I think you can. Why don't you move out the way? The sidewalk's big enough for both of us. Yeah, you should move out the way and stop blocking. No, you move out the way. I'm walking over here. Can't you just walk around me? I'm tired. Hey, you know what? You don't need to get a tones with me. Who ordered the heat, hey? <laughs> Looks like someone needs to learn some manners. Hey, you know what? You need to watch your manners and go buy me a slice of pizzas. I don't have time for your nonsense. Move along. Okay, so he didn't want to play along. That's fine. But you can see, you can react with people. Imagine the role play possibilities here today. Absolutely incredible. By the way, if you haven't seen that uh, demo or Hello that uh, that trailer that came out for Unrecorded, looks absolutely incredible. It's a police game that they're uh, developing. This is that box van from it. So a lot of people were like, that's not uh, that's not real. Or, or they said that that was real footage and it wasn't in the game. Well, there's the box truck that was in it right there. So that's one of those assets. Pretty cool. Hey, uh, who ordered the heat? Leave me alone. I'm just asking you a question. I don't have time for your questions. Mind your own business. Oh my God. I can't believe this traffic. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's the traffic's ridiculous, the right? I know. I can't right. stand this city. I it's always crowded and chaotic. Maybe I mean, the traffic's not that bad today, right? I've Don't tell me what's bad or not. I know the city better than you ever Oh, will. he's got an ego about himself. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, it never, ever gets hot like ever in the summer, and it's so hot today. Yeah. Well, that's just the um, way it is. Hi there. Nothing can, I can help do you with about something? it. Well, what's causing all the heat? I don't know, and I don't care. It's not my problem. You will care whenever the sun explodes, and then we're all done for us. I slipped into the uh, New York accent. <laughs> yeah. Well, until then, uh, I'll just keep sweating in this damn break? city. Why are you wearing a sweater when it's so hot out? It's none of your business what I wear. Just leave me alone. All right, I'll leave you alone. Whatever. Mind your own business. I'll do what I want. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. Keep walking. This is my city. Whatever you say. <laughs> just want to be left alone. So we're just having some casual conversations with people, NPCs walking down the street, um, and you know, later on in the video, we'll just do some role playing and some character voices and see if they can pick it up at all. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, can I have a drink of your coffee? No. You can't have a drink of my coffee. Get your own. Uh, where did you get it? Why do you care? Just leave me alone. I mean, you're about to walk into a set of stairs. I'm just asking you if I can have a drink of your coffee. I don't need your help. Mind your own business. Man, people are really nasty in this city. You know that? Let's see what she says about that one. You see how long it takes to get the response sometimes. It takes a little bit longer than you think. Oh, like you're not one of them. Please? Yeah, I'm not one of them. Well, okay. Have a nice day. What's your name? Why do you need to know my name? Just go away. All right. Well, enjoy your coffee, okay? Jeez. They were not friendly at all. I just wanted to sip of their coffee. I mean, I get it. You know, I was asking for... Let's ask Are these people for directions me? to the... Uh, let's ask them how we can get to the park. See if they can figure that one out. Excuse me, sir. Uh, can you tell me how to get to the park? But still help but still help. That's not helpful to me. Uh, how do I get to the park? Sure thing. Just go straight down the street and take a left at the next corner. All right. I appreciate the help. Have a good day. Thanks. You too. Don't forget to feed the pigeons on your way there. All right. I'll grab some bird seed. 
That's pretty amazing. And that was correct. You go down and to the left and you're at the park. So they actually knew it. We need to uh, uh, try to sell somebody some insurance or something here. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a couple of minutes to talk about the insurance Hello, plan you have on your phone? It's such a beautiful day today, isn't it? <laughs> Can I uh, ask you how much are you currently paying for the insurance on your phone? I'm sorry. Do I look like a tourist? I don't really know much about insurance. Oh, okay. It's a great day, though. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, I actually sell insurance. Hello there. What do you want? Excuse me. I don't I appreciate don't your negativity. Let's focus on the positive Anything. things instead. Well, hello there. Okay, well, first of all, what, I can give you a better plan than you are currently paying. Oh, wow. That sounds great. I'm always looking for ways to improve my life and finances. Well, that's great to hear. How much are you currently paying? I'm sorry. I still don't know much about insurance. But I appreciate your offer. Hey, there's no need for that kind of language. Okay. Let's keep it positive. Oh, I said that. <laughs> I definitely didn't say that, but okay. It's so gloomy in the city today, isn't it? I don't have time for small talk. Leave me alone. Well, my name's Rachel. What's your name? I don't give my name to strangers. Sorry. Well, we don't have to be strangers. Do you want to go get a coffee? I don't want to go get a coffee with you. Leave me alone. Okay. Do you hear this music? It's so loud. I know. It's frustrating, but there's nothing we can do about it. I know, I went into the settings and tried to figure out how to turn it off, but I couldn't figure it out. Maybe just try to ignore it and enjoy the city instead. Yeah, I guess I will. Kind of hard to do with all this heat and rain, right? I know it's tough, but let's try to make the best of our vacation. Oh, you're on vacation? I didn't say I was on vacation. Leave me alone. No, you just said that uh, we should enjoy our vacation. Sorry, I misspoke. Let's just try to enjoy the city despite the weather and noise. All right. I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't want to have small talk, but uh, have a good one. Then what do you want? I'm in a hurry here. Yeah, I just wanted to know, you know, if you're on vacation, what are you doing here? I like to explore new places and try different foods. It's a good way to relax and unwind. Okay, I got you. That's an interesting accent. Where are you from? I prefer not to discuss personal details with strangers. Sorry. All right, I got you. Do you have like a boss or something? Why do you want to know? Mind your own business. You drive like a black Cadillac? I don't have a car. Sorry. All right. Well, can you give me a dollar? No, I don't give money to strangers. Don't bother me again. Well, my meter ran out on my Porsche over there and I need a dollar to, you know, to get through. I'm sorry, but I don't have any cash on me. Good luck with your parking situation. Yeah, welcome to 2023, right? Nobody has cash on them. All right, have a good day. Thank you. You too. No? Okay, he was kind of nice there. There you go. So we started off with that very neat that you can just have random conversations with people. We need to ask some more hard-hitting questions. Hey, how you doing today? Better than you, I bet. Well, I mean, that may be the case. What's your name? Oh, honey, you can call me whatever you want. Okay, my name's Rachel. What's your name? I don't know. I'm having an identity crisis. Oh, that's not good. What's going on with this lady to the right of you? She can't get around that. She needs to learn how to walk properly. She's blocking my path. Yeah, a lot of people around this city don't seem to have manners when it comes to walking. Welcome to New York, honey. It's called survival and fitness for a reason. Hey, really quick. Uh, do you believe in UFOs? I believe in whatever I want. Sweetie, don't tell me what to believe. Well, I'm not telling you what to believe, but with that post that just came out recently. I don't know what to believe anymore. Everything seems so confusing. Have you ever seen a UFO or any aliens? I've seen plenty of strange things in my life, but I won't go spreading rumors about little green men. Well, they're actually little gray men. I don't know where you're getting the green from. Whatever. Honey, I'm not an expert on alien anatomy. Well, what would you do if they uh, just showed up? I'd probably just hide under my desk and hope for the best. I mean, what if they're, you know, intelligent and nice? I'm sure they're just dying to meet me, but I'll pass. Well, maybe they don't want to meet you. Excuse me, what's that supposed to mean? Well, you said you don't want to meet them. Why would they want to meet you? Maybe they're just big fans of my attitude. Ever think of that? <laughs>
Yeah, that's true. I know. I'm pretty irresistible. What's what's with all the police around here? There's like a bunch of police cars. I'm probably just trying to keep up with my criminal activities. Uh, you just told me you're a criminal. I just said activities, honey. Don't jump to conclusion. Okay, well, do you have anything illegal on you that's going to poke me, stick me, harm me in any way? I never carry anything illegal. How dare you suggest that? All right, right now I'm placing you under arrest. It's a citizen's arrest. Oh, no. What have I done wrong? Please don't arrest me. Do you have anything illegal on you? I already told you. I don't carry anything illegal. Now let me go. Well, I'm going to go talk to that police officer over there and see what they have to say. Go ahead, honey. I've got nothing to hide. All right, all right. Have a good day. There you go. Had to do, throw a little bit of police interaction with them to see how they responded to it. It's pretty hilarious. Hey, do you own that minivan over there that's parked illegally? I don't, but I'm sure the owner will come take care of it soon. Do you even know how to drive a car? Of course I do. Why do you ask? Oh, because you parked over there. Oh, my apologies. I didn't realize. I'm moving right away. Well, thank you for the apology. Have a good day. <laughs> he admitted to it. Stay safe out there. And he's walking away from it. All right, let's start off with, uh, let's do Stoner Steve. See if they can understand that character. Hey, how you doing today? Hey, sorry. Moving. I'm running late for work. New York City, baby. Can we talk later? You know where I can get some uh, perp skirt or some hoot nanny? Sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. It, it makes you feel really good. But the cops could always come down on you for it. I don't want to hear about illegal activity, sir. Let's talk about something else. Ah, all right, whatever. Hey, have you tried the pizza here yet? It's amazing. No, I've, I've heard that it's really good, though. Well, don't just hear about it. Go try it. What are you waiting for? Whatever. <laughs> All right, so they do understand Stoner Steve. That's pretty amazing. We need to try some Big Mama Juju and uh, start talking about some crawfish to somebody. How you doing, honey? Mysterious. My name's Big Mama Juju. I suggest you keep your distance. What did that mean, crawfish? Sorry, I don't understand the question. You little cross-station crawfish, ain't you? You little cross-station crawfish, ain't you? <laughs> I am not a cross-station crawfish, nor do I understand what that means. You are a crawfish! I advise you to stop with those accusations. My name's Big Mama Juju. I apologize, but I am not interested in names at the moment. Where you going, honey? Okay, Excuse it's me. somewhat picking I me up. I must be on my way. I must be on my way. That's that's pretty impressive that they could understand Big Mama Juju. Okay, let's try a really difficult one. Lance Barge Strum on him. If this person will talk to us. Hey, whoa, whoa, what going on today? I didn't know today. My name is Lance. Come again? Yeah, I lost my car keys on the ground. Are you both gonna yeah, pick them up? I don't have time for your nonsense. Leave me alone. Hey, whoa, whoa, will you buy me a beer at least? We'll get Bobby I'm abilities. Sorry. I don't know who Bobby is or what you're talking about. No, I'm talking about beer. You got a beer? Not tolerate inappropriate behavior. Please move along. Oh, I know that because I started a landscaping operation. Yeah, I started my landscaping operation, but it ain't doing so good, though. I'm sorry. I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> Butter take okay? null so good. Okay, so Lance is out of the question. Hey, what time is it right? Get out of my way. Walk. Hey, no need for that language. What time is it? It's Hello none there. of your business. How are you Mind enjoying your own the city damn business? Are you always so nasty to people I on the street? Know. What's it to you? You want to start something? Yeah, let's go right now in the street. Come on. I'm sorry. I don't want any trouble. That's what I thought. What All right, want? so we're being abrasive with some people. Let's try to be nice to somebody and just have a pleasant conversation. Hey, how you doing today? Hey there, sunshine. Oh, hello. What a beautiful day for a stroll in the city. Oh, it's beautiful out today. How you doing? I'm doing fabulous. Thank you for asking. Well, my name is Rachel. It's very nice to meet you. Oh, dear. I'm so sorry, but I can't seem to remember my own name at the moment. Oh, really? What does it start with? Well, 
It starts with a letter of the alphabet, but that's about all I can remember right now. Oh, wow. That's very interesting. Interesting? I wouldn't call it that. It's frustrating not being able to remember my own name. Oh, I understand. I wasn't trying to offend you. No, no, I'm sorry. It's just been a stressful day and I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed. I'm sorry to hear about that. What's going on? Oh, it's just the usual stress of being in this city. The noise, the crowds, the chaos. It's all too much sometimes. I know, but sometimes you just have to take a deep breath and relax. Oh, honey, I've been taking deep breaths for 49 years. It doesn't seem to be helping much. Oh, you're 49 years old. When is your birthday? Oh, a lady never revealed her age. But I will say that I have plenty of life experience under my belt. Oh, okay. I like your, uh, your shirt. Thank you. I picked it out myself. It's always nice to receive compliments from a stranger on the street, isn't it? Oh yeah, it is. This uh, jacket I'm wearing was expensive. Oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm more of a bargain shopper myself. Nothing beats a good deal. Well, if you don't mind me asking, how much did you pay for it? Oh, I never reveal the price of my clothes. A lady has to keep some secret. Your hair looks really nice, too. Thank you. I just got it done at the salon. Guy keep up appearances, you know. Yep, okay, well, who, person who doesn't have a name, have a good day. Excuse me? I may not remember my <laughs> name at the moment, but that doesn't Wasn't mean being rude. have to be rude They just about cut it off. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, have a nice day. Oh, don't worry about it. You have a nice day. Well, that was a nice interaction. There you go. Oh, my Let's... God. Whoa, did what's going on? Did you see that pigeon steal that guy's hot dog? No, I did not. When did that happen? Oh, never mind then. Wasn't that funny anyway? Well, did you uh, record it on your phone? What kind of music do you think I like? Uh, if I had to guess, classical. Classical? You all look like a 90-year-old to you. I mean, it's all that I hear in this city. Well, maybe you should try exploring the city more and finding some cooler spots then. Okay, are you going to be able to get around that sign or no? <laughs> I don't know. I man. don't know. I'm not really feeling very <laughs> athletic today. All right, well, it's two-hour parking, so don't forget about that. Two hours? How am I supposed to explore the whole city in just two hours? See, that's how they get you. Yeah, it's a conspiracy. They just want our money and to limit our city exploration time. Well, that's what it feels like to me. You see all the cops around here? Yeah, it's like they're just waiting for us to do something wrong. Oh, careful. What? What's going on? Is there a spider on me or something? Yeah, I just brushed him off. Ugh. I hate spires. Thanks for the save. No problem. Have a great day, okay? Oh, don't tell me what to do. Just kidding. You too. <laughs> a little bit of sass there at the end. Everybody here is so grumpy. That's that's kind of the uh, New Yorker vibe. So what I'm guessing is that they're you know kind of pre-programmed to have a bit of uh, a backstory to what's going on in the city. It seems like. All right, we need to uh, just tell somebody how to live their life. Let's do that. Hey, Save what's up? Again. Uh, what's up? I can feel it. Something is not well, right here. There. You, must have some you need to end up, up on the other them. side of the street. You're on the wrong side of the street. Why should I? Who are you to tell me what to do? Well, I'm telling you, you need to walk on the other side of the street. Fine. I don't see the point. That suit is not a good look for you. You need to wear black. Black is not always the answer, my friend. I would get rid of the mustache if I were you. I like my mustache. It's part of who I am. You should shave your head if you're going to grow out your facial hair. I don't appreciate your unsolicited advice. 
Thank you very much. Well, you need to do better. Your walk is all messed up. What do you mean? How is my walk messed up? Like you were walking kind of like zigzag. I walk the way I walk for a reason. Hello there. How can I, I help appreciate you? your observation. You need to buy Hello some tennis there. shoes. I don't think I need... I don't see the need for tennis shoes. Hello? But I'm always up for your good chat. Hey, do you own a boat? Why would I want a boat? What's the catch? Do you own a car? We're going to play 20 questions with him. Hello there. That's none of your business. Why do you ask? Do you own a house? I'm not sure what you mean. Perhaps our paths will cross again. How much money do you make in a year? That's none of your business. And I won't answer that question. Well, I mean, how much money do you make per hour? I'm not comfortable discussing my income with strangers. Okay, are you trying to cross the street? No. I have a strange feeling that I shouldn't cross just yet. Well, you need to take a taxi cab. I prefer to walk. It helps me clear my mind. What do you need to clear your mind from? It's the stress of everyday life. You know how it is. What's uh, got you stressed out? That's none of your business. And I don't appreciate the pride. All right, all right. Well, have a good one. Until we meet again. Until we meet again. Like, everybody's so sad, you know? It's kind of depressing in a way. Oh my God, there's a tornado coming down the Hi street. There. Can I help you with something? <laughs> Could you repeat that? Oh no. I'm running late for work in this intersection. Yeah, there's a tornado to coming down the street you right now. You know any shortcuts to get to Wall Street? I don't I think I packed a sturdy enough umbrella for this. To be late for work. No, you didn't. There's a tornado. It's sucking cars up and people. I don't know any shortcuts to Wall Street, but I can suggest Why did taking I choose the subway, to vacation in a which place is usually faster than driving. Well, probably because the mesocyclone is right above us. I guess I should have checked the weather before coming here. Do you know what a supercell is? What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? No. It sounds like something I should be afraid of. I mean, they're pretty common in the Midwest. Hello. Hello. Is there something you need? Uh, yes. I'm in a the bit Midwest, of a hurry to get to. Where the skies are wide and the storms are super. Exactly. That's where this tornado came from. I should have stuck to vacationing in the safety of my own imagination. Well, I mean, that's not a comforting thought to hear. I'm sorry. I'm just a little on edge with this tornado situation. <laughs> I think you'll be fine. It just lifted. Hi there. How's your day been so far? Well, that was it's been a tough day. day. Mark has been enjoying really his trip to Lake City. Oh man, there you go. Well, I could just do this forever. Honestly, it's a lot of fun. If you guys want to check it out, be sure to go to the link and and go uh, get it for yourself. You can just have conversations with people about random stuff like. The sky is the limit. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments below. There's other games that are uh, implementing this technology into them. But to me, I'm really blown away. I think it's absolutely incredible. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.